And I don't know where I'll go I'm leaving in the morning by my And I don't know where I'll go Woman I've been loving for 20 years, mama Well, she don't love me, don't be old I can't hear my coffin coming, mama Right, Lordy, Lord, through my back door Hear my coffin coming, mama Already lost through my back door And the woman I've been loving for 20 years, mama But she don't love me no more Ah, David, I hear them grasshoppers now My shoes, mama, and they're sticking all in my head. It's my, my favorite American uh, classic popular song composer uh, of all time would probably be Hoagie Carmichael. And uh, I had a kind of a Hoagie connection that Hoagie worked in the, in, in the bookstore on the Indiana University campus in the mid, middle 1920s uh, with my Aunt Ethel. And I believe there was a, a bit of a romance. And damn you, Ethel. I mean... Why didn't you make that one work? I mean, I'd be heir to the biggest publishing fortune outside of Paul McCartney's. Now, Ho Hoagie, of course, wrote so many of the gr greatest American standards. He wrote Stardust, which is probably his most flagship song, but he, he wrote Georgia On My Mind and Up a Lazy River and uh, As Time Goes By and so many great, uh, very famous songs. But I, some of his more obscure work uh, uh, really intrigues me. And I'm going to do a piece that he did in a movie. He also got several roles as an actor, uh, always in Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall movies because they were huge fans of his. And they'd get him small parts just so he, they could have him backstage on, on the sets and p play the piano when they were on their breaks. And, uh, and you know, I hope, uh, an interesting thing about this song is that Hoagie wrote the, the music and lyrics to this song. He rarely wrote lyrics. He, he usually had a, a, a lyricist uh, a partner. Uh, very often Johnny Mercer uh, wrote the words to Hoagie's songs. And, but uh, Hoagie, Hoagie wrote the whole shoot and match on this one. It's a, a great piece about an expatriate American piano player who's stranded in, in the Orient without the money to get back home. It's called the Hong Kong Blues. It's a story about a very unfortunate kind of man 
who got stranded down in old Hong Kong. He had 20 years privilege, took it away from him, just for kicking old Buddha's gone. And now he's pounding up the piano just to make the price of a ticket to the land of the free. And though he says he's from Frisco, where they send the rice, he's really from Tennessee. That's why he says, I need somebody to love me. Need somebody to carry, carry me back to San Francisco and bury my body there. Won't somebody believe that I yet to see that pay again? But when I try to leave, sweet old Pio won't let me fly away. I need somebody to lend me a fifty dollar bill and then I live on Kong far behind me to happiness once again. Yeah, Dave, take me down to Hong Kong. a story about a very unfortunate kind of man who got stranded down in old Hong Kong. He had 20 years privilege took it away from him just for kicking Hong Kong Blues, what a song. Now that song right for you, right there. One, two. Make me think of a sweetheart, a little girl I used to know. After I rambled the whole night through, wondering if you missed me too. Why am I on my own, so feeling so lonesome, thinking only about you? Carolina Sunshine Girl You have left me all alone I Carolina Sunshine Girl You have made me leave my home I wonder Should laugh at your photograph. You're the sweetest thing, girl, in this world. And I love, love, love you. My Carolina Sunshine Girl, it's the old day. Yeah, go get her, David. I won't. 
Sang that hillbilly music, did you? I love country music, especially the real blood and gut stuff. Okay, I think we're going to do another hoagie, hoagie tune for you. Uh, hoagie had uh, Hoagie Carmichael had one uh, one child who's uh, still alive and kicking, and he lives in uh, uh, Los Angeles now, now, where he makes probably the best split bamboo fly rods in, in the world, and uh, something else near and dear to my heart. And uh, his name was Hoagland Jr. And uh, I'm going to sing a song that I believe that Hoagie Sr. wrote about his son when his son was a uh, very little and a very bad little boy. He wrote the words to this one too, as a matter of fact, and uh, uh, made a parallel between uh, uh, his bad little boy and a little fish. And it's called Small Fry. It was like, Here comes that no good brat of a boy. You know, he's such a little devil, I could whop him with joy. He's been carousing at the Burlicue. Just let me teach him with the sole of my shoe. Small fry, strutting by the pool room. Small fry, should be in the schoolroom. Be your mind, just listen to me. You ain't the biggest catfish in the sea. Small fry, dancing for a penny Small fry, counting up how many You might put out that cigarette You ain't no grown up high and mighty yet You should listen to your paw And maybe practice the law Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes Yes, you should listen to your paw Practice the law You'd be a real success, yes Small fry, kiss the neighbor's daughter Small fry, should have stayed in shallow water Gee, I could take you across my knee You ain't the biggest catfish in the deep blue sea Get it, David Neighbor's daughter, small fry, should have stayed in shallow water. Gee, I could take you across my knee. You ain't the biggest catfish in the deep blue sea. You get your feet all so dead way. You be the death, death of me. Yeah. Oh, me, oh, my.
Well, let me see here. Do we have any musicians' wives in the audience? Well, hold up your hands. Or, or your cut-up credit cards or something like, like that. Nothing like that. Well, if we do, uh, the, 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 uh, my sympathies are with you, and this song is for you. I get a lot of uh, young musicians, actually, that come to me occasionally and ask me career advice and what, what, what they should be doing, you know, to, to further the career in the music industry. And instead of talking to them, I usually just sing them this song. Because, uh, so would you like to play the guitar in some coffee house or a bar? And bring your wages home in a jar Or would you rather get a job? A job is the thing that makes you get out of bed And work every day until you're dead Your back gets aching, your mind gets numb You just can't wait until the weekend comes But if you don't want to beg or steal or rob I guess you better get a job Or would you rather play the guitar And drive for miles and miles in your car While pretending you're a big star Or would you rather book the gig This is a verse about music businessmen Oh, we love those guys A manager is a creature who gets 20% and what he says ain't often what he meant He'll clean you out in ways you never thought Because he's good at business and he knows that you're not And he'll sue you if you ever make it big Cause he's the guy that booked the gig Or would you rather play the guitar For a living party har har And this next verse is a little bizarre but would you rather be the wife? Oh, Dave. We're sailing into some stormy water here. Count me out on this one. Okay. My best to Denise. Both our wives are named Denise. There's never been any confusion. Right? Wife is the one who has to rescue our butts. She's either a saint or else she's nuts. She gets impatient, she gets annoyed just because she has to stay employed. And by the way, if you'd like to ruin your life, just become a guitar picker's wife. And all the monkeys aren't in the zoo. Some can be trained to play guitar too, and some a whole lot better than you. So even if you don't go far, you could be worse off than you are. At least you're playing the guitar. The trouble with that song is it's every word of it is the truth. Yes, indeed. Author, author. This is a new song written by Mr. David Wilkie right over here. And uh, I'm going to be recording it on my forthcoming jazz album. I didn't know oh, that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I see the big buck rolling in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those jazz records sort of just fly off the shelves, I know don't they? they? Do. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the best winter. One of the best winter weather, weather songs, I think, that's been uh, uh, written in, in some time. And uh, it just has that, that uh, kind of, I'm trying try to try to create a kind of a blizzard. Imagine what's outside this theater at this very moment. And it goes like this. Living in this frozen town Has been known to get me down But I've got the perfect remedy There's 
there's a place where I can go. The music's fine, the lights are low, and I've got something waiting there for me. Bartender bourbon on ice. down so nice There is nothing half as good and even twice the price as bourbon a bourbon on ice Now there's a place where I can bank that someone's playing Hank or Frank Ella Satchmo train or Bix or Moe's There's nobody in this place That knows or cares about my name and face My politics, religion, or my clothes Bartender bourbon on ice Goes down so nice. There is nothing twi twice as good, and even half the price. But then the dirt, bourbon on ice. Wanna play one day? Something from your private vault To keep my inner gyroscope in line Irish black or Highland mash Though important to my stash Will yield to a Kentucky blend divine Bartender Bourbon on ice Goes down so nice There ain't nothing twice as good And even twice the price Got it by tender By tender By tender A bourbon on ice I am still principally thought of as an electric guitar player, and I can't really see going through a night of music. Because sometimes people will travel some distances to hear me play, and they, they really expect to hear me play some electric guitar. So it's now time to spank the plank. I really love 
love you. Someone else might try to love you. Baby, please don't say no to me. Baby, please stop being so mean to me. You know I never hurt you. And someone else might try and hurt you. Baby, please stop being so mean to me. I gave you all my money, girl, and love it too. Done everything that a fool could do to try and keep you happy and satisfied. Cause I want you by my side. Baby, please don't walk out on me. Not until you've heard my story. Cause you just might like my story. Baby, please. I got it. Yeah. 
again folks David Wilkie Greg Carroll bless you so much for your fantastic attendance and support of this fabulous festival Thomas Garrett 